Hey guys, here with a, another pack review, and this is the Osprey Talon 11. Now I actually already did post a review on this pack, however honestly it just really wasn't the best review that I could do. So, um, I'm going to redo it. And uh, this is, I believe, the 2010 model. Uh, so the 2011 model, they did redesign it a little. Uh, basically, what I can tell, uh, the major difference is they just added kind of a quick release bicycle helmet attachment right here. And really, that's only the major difference, I think. So, um, you know, th this reveal still pretty much worked for, th for that pack. Just keep in mind that the new ones will have a, a bicycle attachment right there. Now, which looks like a cool feature, but I don't really feel like I'm at too much of a disadvantage without it either. So, um, this is an 11 liter pack. However, uh, there's a, a medium large and a small medium size. Um, this is the smaller of the two, so this is actually 9 liters, uh, but the large version uh, will be 11 liters. So, on the front here, you start off, you have this um, elastic bungee um, material with a, uh, a cord lock on it right here. And um, this works really well for just a light windbreaker. Um, it's not going to be big enough to hold something like a sweatshirt, really, or a fleece jacket. Um, you're starting to kind of get too big there. This really isn't all that huge of a pack. Uh, but for just a light windbreaker, rolled up real tight, you can, you can shove it in there, and it works great. Uh, probably too small for something like a bicycle helmet. Uh, maybe you could shove it in there. Um, it's possible, but it's, it's not going to be, be super easy. It's going to be tight. Um, then in the front here, you have a, um, a mesh pocket. So that's nice with a uh, little carabiner there. And, um, you know, it's really large enough to, to hold quite a lot. Um, well, not a ton, but enough. Um, just to give you a size comparison, here's a Spyderco Manix 2. You see there's there's still a good amount of space in there. So you can put, you know, cell phone, cameras, lots of stuff like that in there. And then you get into your main compartment. See in there? Uh, you have thing right there with a the velcro closure. Um, really you can't put a ton in there or it starts kind of bulging out and making it hard to get to the rest of the stuff in there. But for smaller flatter items you can put them in there. And notice that this front compartment's mesh so you can see into the front compartment. I really like that. It saves on weight and um, just, you know it, it's strong enough I don't feel like this mesh is going to rip. So I like that and you can see through easier. And then it just a, a compartment. And really I think the way to think about this pack is kind of a, a hydration pack with just a little bit extra storage in there. You're not going to haul a ton of stuff in here, uh, but enough. And again, for size comparison, just to give you an idea, this is a full size Nalgene bottle. So there you go. So you do have some, some cargo space in there. And I actually have a, a little 13.3 um, uh, inch uh, screen size laptop. So just a little bit bigger than a netbook, and it, it fits in there fine. And so I, can, I actually use this as a, a computer case as well. So, um, this is the main compartment. Now notice you have this much space, but once you put your hydration bladder in, and that goes in right here, and that's full of water, that's going to eat up some of this cargo space. So just be aware of that. So in the back here, <clears throat> you have two buckles and that lets you get into your hydration bladder space. Now there is a plastic sheet for your suspension in here but notice it's not like like tons of suspension. It gives it some rigidity but um, you know it's not like you have a, a, an aluminum stay in there or anything like that. So you can access that plastic sheet right here. Um, so you just slip your hydration uh, bladder in there and the way you attach it is you just have this tiny little clasp that hooks onto it and attaches it. And what's nice about this is that uh, the tube for your hydration bladder comes right out this side 
or this side depending on what on whether you're right or left handed so it's not going to be you know hitting you in the back of the neck because it definitely comes out the side then you can run it down through here now the quality is great on these but this is the only repair I've had to make on it now I don't know if it came this way from the factory, the factory defect or if I somehow uh, broke it in the field but you see there the, the uh, elastic just came unstitched at the bottom there so and started to fray so I restitched it on there um, which was really easy to do not a problem at all and then I just burnt the end with a lighter so it wouldn't unravel anymore um, that's the only quality issue I've seen at all with this. So far this pack has been excellent quality and so I'm gonna kinda write that off as maybe just a factory defect. Um, they'd probably cover that under warranty, I just never bothered to send it in because it was just kind of a cosmetic thing. Um, didn't really affect the function at all so I just kinda left it. Uh, so you'd run your hose down through here, uh, through this spongy, and then um, the hydration bladder that Osprey sells is a magnetic uh, attachment. So th this is it. So you see here on your uh, your hose, there's a, a magnet there, and they they do not sell it with the bladder. You have to buy the bladder separate. So that adds some cost that you'll have to think about. Um, so it just clicks on there, and I really like that. I love that. That's awesome. That's one of me. That's actually one of the big reasons I I love Osprey packs, is this attachment method. It just rocks. It's really cool. Um, so that works great. So you just run it down through there like that. And um, as I was mentioning, there's there's just basically one plastic sheet in there that gives some suspension, but not a ton. Um, the, one of the things that's different about Osprey's um, hydration bladder is that it actually has a plastic sheet in it, and also this plastic carry handle. So this actually has some really good rigidity. So once you put this in there, that adds a lot of suspension to your pack, and then it's it is a rigid pack. Um, this is heavier than a lot of hydration bladders, and honestly, uh, for the money, I'd probably maybe check out the uh, Platypus uh, hydration bladders. I think those are maybe a better value, uh, maybe a little bit better design all around, but they won't give you the, uh, the suspension as this one. This one works fine, but I just maybe think it's maybe not the best one on the market. And I do have a review out on this. Um, so... Uh, your straps on here are very thin. I like that. Uh, they're designed well. They fit the body well. They're contoured well. And they are very lightweight. As you can see, they're kind of a mesh with this foam inside. Um, honestly, I kind of wish they were just, um, I don't know, maybe a little bit heavier duty built. Um, they haven't broken on me except for that, which, I, again, I'm kind of discounting to just this pack. Um, they haven't broke on me and they haven't felt weak, but... I don't know, it's just a personal thing. I think I just like to feel them just a little bit sturdier. Um, but again, they haven't broken. They're very lightweight. Very nice for that. Um, there are these bungee pockets on here, on both sides. They're not huge. Um, I think it'd be a challenge to fit a, a cell phone in there. Uh, you can do it. I'd put my cell phone in there, but I have a smaller cell phone. Um, I don't know. What should I show you? This will work. Um, this is a Victorinox Spirit, uh, a Swiss Tool Spirit. Um, so you can see there, it fits in there, um, but that's about the size you're dealing with. I think maybe like a multi-tool sheet, <laughs> kind of like that. Um, now they did run these, um, uh, this elastic on there for your tube. Uh, for your hydration pack, I kind of also wish that they had put some way or some provision of almost kind of kind of like Molly uh, attachments on here, so I could put maybe like a, a camera case or pouch or um, a knife sheath or attach other things onto here because you really can't put anything else on here. Now um, your uh, chest strap here is well designed, and everything about this Osprey pack is high quality, guys. It it's probably one of the nicest packs on the market as far as quality goes um, but it's not that tube uh, like you see on a lot where it slides up and down I don't mind that too much because it's not going to adjust on you but you have these three positions that you, you pop this out through there and put, put it in it's not super easy to do but it's not hard either um, you can do it I, I've adjusted it before so that's what you're dealing with and you do have a whistle on there which is really cool uh, that you uh, have that and uh, I guess I'll blow it, freak the neighbors out. I'm in my backyard doing this. 
So you see there, nice and loud. Um, so I like that. You have, always have a whistle on you when you're carrying this pack. Now, in the back here is what they call um, their airscape system. Uh, they claim that that reduces sweaty back syndrome um, in hot weather and everything. Honestly, I haven't really noticed a huge difference. <laughs> um, it, you know, it's just, it's comfortable. It, it works. I haven't had any complaints about it. But I wouldn't say that it, you know, gets rid of sweaty back syndrome. It might reduce it a little, but, you know, not not a huge selling feature. Um, I think that's mostly marketing. Don't let them, uh, you know, trick you on that. Uh, now, down here on the waist belt is one of my favorite features. They have pockets on here. That rocks. I love that. Um, and they have these awesome poles on there. That's just great. Even with gloves, it's easy to get in there. Uh, put a little camera, snacks, whatever you want in there. Uh, these rock. So, um, that's awesome. And also, there's no mesh for dirt or anything else to get in there. And they are a little elastic -y, Just a little. So, they'll stretch a little with you. And also, notice how all these straps are tied off with these. So, you don't have with that. So, you don't have a bunch of dangling straps laying around. Um, so, that's nice as well. Now, up on the side of the pack, you on just this side, um, this side only, you have this elastic bungee that you can uh, put hiking poles on or even a small fishing pole or something. So you can uh, put it down in your drink holder and run it up there, and that works, and I've used that a lot. That's great. It's not like quick attach. You do have to take your pack off to do it, um, but it, it does work well. So, um, overall, it's, it's really nice. It is made out of uh, ripstop nylon, so I like that a lot. It's decently waterproof. It's not going to withstand like a, a you know, huge rainstorm, um, but, you know, with a little sprinkle here and there, it, it works good. It's lightweight, durable. Uh, I like that a lot. These talons on here look kind of cool, and they are reflective at night, so that's nice. I've taken this, this pack hiking in Yellowstone, uh, biking. Um, it's, a, it's a really good kind of active sports, just little pack, you know, take a first aid kit, your hydration bladder, and, you know, just a few things here, you know, windbreaker on the front, and it works great. Uh, so I like it a lot. Now, the price is somewhat elevated compared to some of the competition, I think. Um, just the pack alone is going for around between kind of $70 to $90, depending on the color and size and everything. Um, and that's obviously when I'm shooting this, uh, kind of summer 2011. So that's, you know, somewhat expensive, definitely. Uh, it is super high quality though. I have no complaints on the quality. Great pack. Um, but, you know, I think if it came with the water bladder, that may be a better deal. Um, definitely more, more competitive. Um, uh, but, you know, it's kind of, Osprey is a little more of a niche company. Um, I definitely check out, uh, uh, Camelback. I think they have some great offerings. Um, some very competitive offerings. So this is probably not the most high value, most bang for the buck pack, uh, but you can't go wrong with it. Now they don't offer it in this orange anymore. Um, I actually generally recommend getting a more um, subdued color like blues, greens, browns, and I'll stick behind that. Um, I just kind of got drawn in with this orange color. I just really love this orange. Uh, they don't offer it anymore sadly. Uh, right now I think my favorite color they offer it in is kind of the dark blue. Um, that, that's a good looking color as well. So, um, another thing is you have a spot for your uh, reflector here, and you also have a tow loop right there. And it is a durable bottom, so if you're setting this down on the ground, it's not going to get torn up too much. And uh, a drainage hole right there for water. So, I, I love it. It works great. Um, it, good, good design. It may be a little expensive, but um, you get what you pay for. Um, it's high quality, and it's a, a solid design, definitely. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, let me know in the comments, and um, have a nice day.